Have you ever used too much conditioner and you're having one of those days? Hi ladies, as promised, what to wear to an NBA LA Laker game. My husband and I go to Laker games all the time. This is not only what I've worn, but also what I see every time I go. To all the ladies that said, hey, we're going to an NBA game and I wanna look cute. What should I wear? Let's go. First are a couple looks using a faux leather legging. I took this look by Kendall Jenner. I love this, I think it's simple and comfortable. She's wearing a camel sweater with this block heel boot for $99. And yes, women absolutely wear heels to the game. We usually stay at the Ritz Carlton, which is right there in LA Live. So honestly, we're walking like 200 feet, taking the same legging, silk bodysuit, a white blazer, ankle boot, a crossbody, and these chandelier earrings. The leggings are gonna be comfortable. It's a little more dressed up and upscale with the white blazer and silk bodysuit. This inspo I took from a woman that was sitting next to us at the game we went to last week, except she was wearing black patent leather leggings with this beautiful white blazer, and it was so stunning, I copied it. <laughs> Second is a leather pleated pant and diamonds. I took this inspo from Kim Kardashian and honestly, I wore something very similar to this. These are a beautiful slouchy leather pant. They're vegan, a fitted t-shirt, and I love this diamond choker. I found it for $49 on sale and a tennis necklace to layer over it. I also found this faux fur trench coat. This serves two different purposes. First and foremost, if it's cold, obviously you want a jacket, but it also serves as a fashion element. I like to carry something like that over my arm with my handbag because it makes your entire outfit look more luxurious. I love this look. I just think it's luxurious and it's comfy. A quick swap for a classic, elegant, all black look. I kept the leather pant, but I swapped out the fitted t-shirt for this black turtleneck bodysuit, a block heel boot, and a satin bomber jacket. And I think this looks subtly posh, upscale, but it's still gonna be comfortable to be at a basketball game. Another quick swap, swap the boots for this statement animal print pump. Just another option for you, this looks great too. Yes, you can wear jeans. And sometimes if I'm wearing jeans to something like this, I keep Keep the rest very upscale. I've got a pair of slouchy jeans. These are only $128, a simple turtleneck, this mesh boot, which I really love because it looks expensive. Well, it is expensive, it's $445. But the design, the ruching, the detail of this boot is subtly eye-catching and elevates the rest of the outfit. I also have this feathered jacket because I couldn't help myself and I would do a red or a nude lip. I love this feather jacket. I have one um, almost exactly like it. It adds luxury and then an additional dimension to your outfit. So next, this is exactly what I wore to the last game. I wore these pair of navy patent pants. I got them at Anthropology. They're on sale now for $89 and they're super cute, you guys. They do not look cheap. I would not bring you anything cheap. A simple white fuzzy sweater and an ankle boot. Now, I live in Southern California. It was cool and crisp but it wasn't cold. If you live in another area, obviously you're gonna to wanna to add a jacket to that. Finally, last but not least, a silver patent pant. These are $195, also from Anthropology. a simple black button down and a heeled sandal. If you live in different parts of the country, you can absolutely adjust these to fit your area. So for example, if you're thinking, ah, uh, yeah, I live in Wisconsin, I'm not wearing silver patent pants. I totally get it. Just take the concept, a fancier pant, a black button down and a heeled sandal or a slouchy pair of jeans and then kick up the other elements according to your own taste in your own area please uh, okay my hair is just driving me nuts have you ever used too much conditioner and you're having one of those days if you have questions just ask below we are no judgy eyes community there's never a dumb question and until a couple days from now i'll see y'all soon bye